Hi, I'm Jeremy Pickens, the Nursery and Greenhouse Specialist with Alabama Extension, and I'm going to present a study that or trial that I did with uh, Dr. Chris Marble at University of Florida on post-emergent weed control in Asiatic jasmine and dwarf mondo grass ground cover. So, you know, ground covers are a popular alternative to turf. You can use them on places or in places where mowers are not accessible, like steep slopes or in deep shade where grass or turf uh, doesn't grow well. Uh, over time, it can reduce your mulching cost. Uh, there's uh, not a lot of pest pressure uh, for most of these ground covers. However, early on in establishment, uh, weeds can become a problem. So some of the uh, species that are commonly used in Alabama would be Asiatic jasmine, uh, mondo or dwarf mondo grass, English ivy, cast irons, and junipers. Those are all pretty common, um, but we are just going to be discussing uh, the Asiatic jasmine and dwarf mondo uh, today. There are some success strategies to uh, keep the weeds out um, or reduce weed pressure, and that would be uh, to use fast-growing species if possible or increase your plant density. So the more plants you have per area, the faster it's going to fill in. And just uh, keep in mind that uh, the less amount of sunlight that is hitting the soil is going to uh, equal less weeds germinating. Uh, so mulch can be used. Uh, it's a little difficult sometimes to get mulch in and around some of these uh, small plants. So, you know, chopped pine straw or maybe a little bit finer grade mulch uh, sometimes may uh, help with that. There's also some uh, plenty of pre-emergent herbicides, and I'll show you a list of these labeled uh, for both of these species, Asiatic jasmine and dwarf mondo. Uh, you definitely, uh, if you have the ability to, to hand weed often, you know, just going in and uh, roguing through that uh, um, ground cover as often as possible is going to really reduce the weed pressure by keeping that seed bank low. Uh, and then when you need it, there's also the option for chemical uh, post-emergent control. And that's kind of what we're going to be uh, talking about today. So here is a list of some of the pre-emergent herbicides labeled for Asiatic Jasmine. Plenty of granular and spray applied products. Um, and, you know, you can always hit pause and write these down. Uh, there's also post-emergent herbicides, and we're going to talk about some of these that we evaluated as far as plant safety goes. Um, also, uh, monograss, plenty of options for pre-emergent uh, products and post-emergent products. So the purpose of this trial was to evaluate 10 commonly used post-emergent herbicides um, for over the top of Asiatic Jasmine Dwarf Mondo. Uh, we are just evaluating how this affects uh, plant growth or plant safety, you know, did it hurt our, uh, our ground cover is really what we're after. And so this project was led by Chris Marble at the University of Florida, and he conducted his trial at the station in Apopka, looking at Asiatic Jasmine and Perennial Peanut. Um, we're just going to be discussing Asiatic Jasmine today because we don't grow a lot of Perennial Peanut in Alabama. And then uh, at the Ornamental Horticulture Research Station, we did uh, Dwarf Mondo Grass. So we repeated these study uh, each trial twice. And, um, you know, we used 2x the label rate at 30 gallons per acre. So that's two times the, I think, the highest label rate. And so this was kind of like a worst case scenario. So if you went out and kind of messed up on your calibrate and put too much out, um, would these be safe? And so um, also we did two applications, one, of course, at initiation and then another one at eight weeks after initial treatment. So all in all, uh, these plants were evaluated about uh, 14 to 16 weeks, um, and again, that was two applications in that time period. So I'll just go through each of the active ingredients that we tested. So uh, Bentazon, uh, we use the product Bassagran Turf and Ornamental. It really targets uh, nut sedge. What's nice about this product is it kills the tuber. So it does several um, of nut sedge. It does several sedges and several uh, large uh, excuse me, broadleaf weeds. Um, it is not labeled for Asiatic jasmine and it's not labeled for dwarf mondo. And the amount of injury we saw, um, I would not recommend using it. Again, it's not labeled for either uh, of these crops. It did significantly injure both crops and it reduced growth um, by either 51 or 29 percent. Um, Clopyrrolid, the product we used was Lontrell. Um, it's used on several large broadleaf weeds, uh, especially uh, thistles, and uh, it does suppress dollar weed. There is an over-the-top application on several junipers and other ornamental plants. Um, Asiatic jasmine, however, is not labeled. We did see significant in injury with 30% reduction in growth. Uh, dwarf mondo is also not labeled. Uh, we did not see any injury after two applications at the 2x rate. Uh, we did see a reduction in growth by about 24% when we compared that to the control so this might be a product that could potentially be used, although not labeled, 
um, in a situation where you already had an existing stand of dwarf mondo and you had to control some weeds that might be on the species, I mean, excuse me, on the label, uh, and you weren't really worried about a reduction in growth. So Philazophop, the product we used was Fusilade. This is a grammaticide, so that is grass specific. It will only kill grass. It, it does control uh, uh, an assortment of grass. You can consult the label for that. Some of the ones that might be interesting to you would be Bermuda grass, crab grass, or torpedo grass. It does an excellent job on all those. Uh, Asiatic jasmine, it is labeled for over the top as well as dwarf mondo grass. Uh, we didn't have any problems with this uh, active ingredient being applied, no reduction in growth, and no damage. Glufosinate or glyphosate, you know, these are both uh, broad spectrum uh, systemic um, herbicides. Uh, of course, these are used to just basically wipe out whatever they are sprayed on. And of course, both of these crops are not labeled. Uh, we did see significant injury with Asiatic jasmine and significant growth reduction, both of about 50%. However, dwarf mondo grass, it totally wiped it out and nearly 100% mortality. So if you want to kill uh, dwarf mondo grass, both these products worked really well. To, of course, we used the uh, 2x rate. Halo sulfuron, the product we tested was sedge hammer. It controls both yellow and purple nut sedge and several broadleaf weeds. Um, Asiatic jasmine and dwarf mondo are not labeled. We did see significant injury after the second, second application uh, on Asiatic jasmine, and we did see a 26% um, reduction in growth. Excuse me, there was no injury after two applications. Um, and so this is, again, a potential resource for established plantings if you're not worried about um, growth. However, it did... Um, um, it is not labeled for that use. Dwarf Mondo grass, again, not labeled. We did see minor injury after one application, um, but that's uh, but it was not acceptable. Um, it did reduce growth by 55%, so I would stay away from uh, Mondo grass with this uh, active ingredient, Halo Sulfuron. Imaziquin, the product we used was Scepter Turf and Ornamental. It is uh, a product that controls sedges, uh, does control dollar weed, wild garlic, henbit, um, it is labeled for both Asiatic jasmine and uh, dwarf mondo grass. We only saw minor injury um, and no growth reduction in Asiatic jasmine. Uh, only minor injury with uh, dwarf mondo, uh, in some cases moderate in injury, and it did reduce growth by 47%. But again, this is at a 2x rate and two applications within six to eight weeks of each other. Cethoxidem. Another grammaticide uh, uh, does a good job on plenty of uh, perennial and annual grasses. It will control Bahia, Bermuda, and crabgrass. Both Asiatic jasmine and mondo grass are labeled, and we didn't see any problems using this product. For the active ingredient sulfentrazon, we use Dismiss. It controls both yellow and purple nut sedge um, with uh, 24 to 48 hours uh, control. Uh, it does do several broadleaf weeds, including dollar weed. Asiatic jasmine is not labeled. We did see minor injury, but it recovered. Did not see any growth reduction. That's at the 2x rate. Dwarf mondo grass, we saw severe injury and it reduced growth by 61%. Sulfol sulfuron or certainty is a product we use. It does also control yellow and purple nut sedge. It does control chamber bitter, dollar weed, and several other uh, large uh, grass, grass and sedges, broadleaf weeds also. Um, Asiatic jasmine is labeled for over the top. We saw unacceptable injury. Uh, it reduced growth by 36%. It's labeled for over the top use, but again, we were using the 2x rate, uh, so it may have different results if you were using the normal labeled rate. Uh, dwarf mondo grass, minor injury for first application, un unacceptable injury for the second application, and it reduced our growth by 48%. If you wanted to take a look at the data um, and a nice summary of this uh, work, you can find it uh, free online at the Journal of Environmental Horticulture. That's through the Horticulture Research Institute's website uh, under the title Tolerance of Three Deep South Non-Turf Ornamental Ground Covers to Applications of Post-Emergent Herbicides. If you're looking for efficacy uh, data on certain products uh, related to nursery and landscape, crops, uh, please take a look at the Southeastern U.S. Pest Control Guide for Nursery Crops. NC State hosted on their website. There's a free PDF. If you want to buy a hard copy, uh, you can purchase that 
through their website. And also you can do that through Amazon. It's a great resource and I would encourage you to uh, get a copy. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at jeremy.pickens at auburn.eu. And you can always reach me at the station at 251-342-2366.